Hi, my name is Lynn and this is the Darben Orbit channel and today we're going to build very super simple DIY lighting that you can use in so many different ways. For this project you need LED light bulbs, these were 11 watts or 60 watt equivalent, half inch conduit piping, an extension cord, light boxes, light receptacles, 14 gauge wire, a switch box, a light switch, male and female conduit connectors, and wire nuts. You'll also need a Phillips screwdriver, a wire stripper, a wire cutter, pliers, utility knife, a regular screwdriver, and a light switch cover. Cut the conduit to length with a hacksaw. How long depends on how much length you want in between each bulb. Next, remove the shielding from your 14 gauge wire and cut to length. Strip the ends with a wire stripper. Cut the female end on the extension cord off, remove the casing and strip the three wires. Pop out the metal on the metal switch box and connect the male female conduit adapters and thread the wire through. To connect the two boxes, thread the wires through the conduit pipe and into the metal switch box. Bend the ends to prepare them for connecting. Connect the ground wires together and ground the metal box. Connect the hot and the neutral to the light receptacle from both sides. Secure the light receptacles to the box and screw in the bulb. Now repeat the same step to your other boxes and here we have a final box. Connect the conduit to the adapter and it's a good idea to glue this. Ground the metal box and connect the hot and the neutral to the light receptacle. Secure the receptacle to the box and screw in the bulb. To make it easy to turn the lights on and off, let's use a switch. Bring out the switch box, the switch and the extension cord connected to the lights. Cut the extension cord in half and remove the shielding and strip the ends. Thread through both cords to the light switch box and connect both to the light switch. Secure the switch to the box and add the cover. Check all your grounds and connections and plug it in. So how many LEDs can your typical 15 amp circuit hold? Well, 15 amps times about 110 volts equals 1650 watts. Each LED 60 watt equivalent uses 11 watts. So 1650 divided by 11 equals 150 bulbs. Each bulb produces about 60 watts of light, so 150 bulbs can produce about 9000 watts of light without breaking the circuit, provided of course nothing else was plugged in. Now that's quite a bit of light. What I love about this project is that it's really just using nuts and bolts from the home improvement store. It's very affordable and when using LED lights you can put a lot of these in a room, they don't use a whole lot of electricity. Uh, and since you're using piping like this you can make these all sorts of different shapes. Uh, you can make them around a mirror, you can put them up and down and just make them work for your space. So I think that's really cool. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Darby Notes, where I put up shop updates and things like that. Also, if you go to my website, don't forget to check out my shop. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your comment as always, and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.